Hi friends, welcome to the video lecture series on importing data in a Python. So till now we have seen about how to read the flat file system plus database file system like a SQLite or a NoSQL. But all those files which are available on a local file system. So till now we have seen how to read this local file system in your Python environment. But from now onwards we are going to start our journey towards fetching remote file system like a .html file, .csv, .json and then we will move towards how to fetch data from the remote web API. Once those data are available with you in a form of .html, .csv, .json, the next immediate task with how to parse those data and how to extract those meaningful and particular tag related information out of it then we will move towards the web api because google facebook twitter kind of all big company has implemented their own web api to expose their data to build the application on the top of it so let's see what kind of python library we are going to use to fetch data remotely so we in python we have a major three main packages are available like a request package url lib2 package and url lib package the other one we are going to use which is nothing but the pandas that is very easy to use to fetch data from the remote location for the different purpose we are going to use a different library but there is a lot of confusion among community and a developer that what why these three libraries are there so there is a pros and cons associated with each of this uh, library uh, keep pandas aside panda is not coming into these three days because these three are mainly to get the data directly from the remote location and panda is nothing but that is a data analysis library but it has given those functionality to fetch data remotely like a fetch dot html dot csv or dot uh, json file okay so let's try to differentiate why these trees are required now if you see this request module request module is providing two method the very important two method one is for the get request and one is for the post request it's very easy to use you just send url with a get request and if you want to do a post request supply url plus a meaningful or minimum data required to fetch those data now if you see this url lib2 you need to send rather than url you can send the whole request object now why this whole request object is required sometimes it is uh, mandatory that you put some kind of limitation on your user agent that if you are accessing data through this user agent then only you can send uh, uh, request so in that case uh, this url might not be a sufficient because url is just a simple string only so in that case you need to use this request object full because there are a lot of other properties also has a header in authorization purpose you can set it so you can use this request object but there is a one uh, drawback here that no url encoding why this url encoding when you are sending data as a get request you need to encode those URL otherwise that data is visible across your whole network from the client to the server but that limitation will be solved with the help of this URL lib library that URL lib library is providing this URL encoding mechanism but here you can't supply the whole request object you just need to supply like a simple url only that's what you are supplying in a request module so that is the pros and cons associated with all these three library apart from that data analysis pandas library has inbuilt functions like a read csv read json and read html so you do not need to worry that whether that file is a local file system what we have seen in earlier uh, lecture we have directly read those dot csv file from our local system exactly the same function you can use to fetch data from the remotely this pandas library will automatically figure out whether you are reading file from your local system or from the remote machine so in this tutorial we are going to mainly focus on this module request and there are a lot of other tutorials to deal with this uh, url lib2 and url lib uh, library and a couple of things we are going to read with the help of this pandas read csv read json and read html function 
so that's all about this lecture friends in the next lecture we are going to see we'll take html url csv url and json url and with the help of this functions of this request object and a pandas library we try to fetch those data and for individual uh, uh, URL will try to extract data in sort uh, scrapping data or uh, parsing data we will do it so I hope you enjoy listening this video and if you haven't understood anything please please write into the comment and if you haven't subscribed my channel please please do subscribe to support the channel